So we all know about Ideogram and Flux by now, but in my opinion, one of the free AI art tools out there hasn't gotten enough attention yet, and that is Playground. AI. I found this a few weeks ago and I've been using it quite a lot since. I thought it deserves a dedicated video because you can use it for up to 15 images every three hours, which is quite a bit more than what you can do with Ideogram and Flux right now for free. And you can also use some really amazing pre-made templates that are specifically designed for print and man products. Here you can see a quick overview of those categories of templates. We've got t-shirts, posters, there is mock-ups right here, stickers, cards and invites. So as you can see, quite a bunch of these apply to POD. A lot of people always ask me in the comment section, can I use the images commercially? So let's quickly go on to that. This is their pricing page. As you can see on the free plan, you get 15 images every three hours. Now, a few people got confused here when I first mentioned this tool because in the pro plan right here, the paid version, it says use images commercially. It doesn't say that on the free version, but it also doesn't say only for personal use. So basically you can use the images commercially even on the free plan, they just don't tell you. And that's also confirmed if you scroll down, how does copyright work on Playground? Who owns the images I create? And it says you own the images you create on Playground. It doesn't specify whether it has to be a free or a paid plan. So basically all the images you create are fine. You can use them for personal or commercial use. And that is YouTube, Etsy, Instagram, et cetera. So they even mention Etsy as an example right here, as long as you follow our terms. So what do the terms say? Just to go a step further, if you're still not sure about this, if it still confuses you, if you open them up and if you search for commercial, then we've got the licensing terms down here. And I'm not gonna read out this entire sentence because it's a lot of legal jargon, but essentially it ends with such assets you could use for your personal or commercial use. And again, it does not say that is only on the paid plan or not allowed on the free plan. They never specify this. So essentially you can use anything you create with Playground for commercial purposes. But let's head back to this templates homepage right here. We're going to start off with the t-shirt category. First of all, let me show you how this works and how to navigate this page. So if you scroll down, you're going to get an abundance of templates. More and more will also start loading up. If you get to the bottom right here, click load more. As you can see, there is a bunch of options. You will also notice that some of the templates have this pro symbol attached to it. So those are only available on the pro plan, but not to worry, there is a ton of really good looking templates in the free version. For example, this text-based design right here looks really cool. We've got some great text-based ones. There's many, many designs and templates that have graphics in them that look amazing that you can use for free. I mean, just look at this one, kind of the groovy style. It looks really, really good. And if we scroll up, we've also got different sections right here to filter further through these templates. So if you're looking for a specific style or you want to just look at the newly added templates, you can do that with this button. And most of the newly added ones, by the way, are also for the free version. I can't really see any pro options right here in the free ones. The way it works is let's say you really like this template with the bear. You click into it, then you've got this box right here at the bottom. And if you click into it, you've got the option to either add something to the template to change the text, which in this case doesn't apply, or to change something else about the graphic or replace an object. So in this case, let's say change the bear to a wolf, for example, and hit create. And now it's going to just take a few seconds. Usually it's quite quick and recreate this template just with a wolf instead of a bear. And there we go. I think that looks really, really good. It's kind of retained the same style right here with the mountains and the little stars, etc. But now it's just a wolf instead of a bear. So really, really cool and easy way to create some good looking graphics for POD without really having to do much prompting yourself. And you just find a nice template that suits the niche that you're looking to enter. And then you apply it to that niche or make changes to that template to make it suit your niche. Now, another handy feature right here is that when you click on explore, it is going to recognize what you've just generated. So in my case, a wolf, and it's going to suggest similar templates, not necessarily in the style, but templates that also have a wolf within it, or maybe that are nature themed, you know, or animal themed. As you can see, there's a bunch of suggestions right here to suit whichever niche you're currently designing for. So that's a cool feature. If you click on this button right here and hit create, it's got to bring you back to the front page with the different templates. A few more tips right here. Some of the better categories, in my opinion, at the top are typography, where you've got mostly simple text-based designs. I've used this one quite a bit already. For example, very nice style, very simple, but you can easily easily change the phrase to it's a good day to bake a pie, for example, or just any other hobby, insert the phrase that suits the hobby into here, and it will use 
that same style. But we've also got cartoon, which is a, a good category for POD if you want a cartoon themed image or if you want that kawaii themed style, which does really well in t-shirts. And we've got vintage right here, retro, and yeah, a bunch of other categories that you can filter through and try out. Also, you can search for something. So let's say you want to create a Christmas themed design. Um, you can even go further and type in Christmas t-shirt. I didn't do that in this case, but as you can see, you get a variety of templates right here, some of which are very suitable for Christmas, right? We've got Santa playing the guitar. So maybe you could come up with a funny pun of mixing Santa with the guitars, or you could change the graphic have Santa doing something else. The options unlimited. You can always use ChatGPT to help you come up with ideas as well, or do some research on the marketplace to see what other people are doing or what's selling well in the Christmas niche. Let me show you another example with this template right here. So in this case, we've got text and a graphic. So you have to tell it to change both of those. Let's start with change the text to happiness is two Daxons as an example, and also change the graphic to two Dax funds. Why not? Hit create. And there we go. I think that's a pretty good result. We've got happiness is to Daxons, all spelled correctly. The graphic has been changed very effectively too. We've still got that same sort of styling with the decorative flowers and that piece or sort of hippie style and the font, the sort of groovy font style has also stayed the same. If you're not happy with the result or if there's a spelling mistake, for example, you can always uh, go back with this arrow right here to the original and try again. You just have to type that in or Alternatively, you can tell it what to change here. So if there's just some small elements that are wrong, you could tell them to fix that or say the word Daxons is spelled wrong. Say change the text to happiness is two Daxons and then it will regenerate that and hopefully fix your spelling mistake. Here's another example of a graphic that I created earlier. I don't believe in humans, Bigfoot holding up a sign and this is the original template it came from. So I just spotted this with the aid in and I thought, well, that would probably work well for Bigfoot. And this is the result after literally just telling it to change the alien to Bigfoot instead. And by the way, you can find all of your previous generations and designs in the My Designs tab over here. One thing I've quite enjoyed doing with Playground as well is just using some of these simple text-based designs. So it's a good day to read a book. I turned that into, it's a good day to bake a pie as well as drink coffee, but I didn't like how close some of these letters got. So I regenerated that again. And here we've got a better result just to show you another example how sometimes just going one step further can make your design look slightly nicer. And here's another template that I really like with that sort of 3D shading effect. I made Burra. It's freezing right here as a base, uh, winter theme design, and it came from sunny days ahead. Really cool text effect. And again, it has that really popular groovy style right here with the font. And that was just going through the t-shirt category and showing you a few few examples there. If you're creating graphics for other products like posters or stickers or invites, you've got those categories here as well. But some of the uh, templates and posters will probably also work for t-shirts if you take a look further into this. So uh, let's have a quick peek right here. So I think this style right here with the toast, definitely could see that working on shirts. Some of these floral themed designs right here, this one looks quite good, but it's pro, unfortunately. This Another really cool design style with this sort of checkered flag in the background, fortunately pro as well, but it shows you that just a quick glance has a lot of design examples that would probably also work for shirts. So it's worth checking out the other categories too. Like this design looks really nice as well. For example, just one color, really cool looking retro graphics. Let's get into the holiday spirit with the wine glass. That also is probably going to work on shirts. So you get the gist. And also if you type in a specific topic right here, like fishing, for example, then it's going to show you a mixture of templates uh, from all of the different categories. As you can see, we've got patterns as well as t-shirt design look at graphics or stickers over here. So I hope those tips help you generate some graphics with Playground. The good thing is once you've done about 15 designs, you don't really have to wait too long until you can get another bunch of designs out of this as it resets every three hours. You can use it for free and there's no time limit as far as I can tell. If you want to discover some other tools that you can use to to generate graphics for print on demand for free, then make sure to check out this video next.